at some clips from that news conference. And Fulton County Sheriff, uh, we're here today to speak to, on the arrest of Jeffrey Williams that uh, in collaboration with Fulton County DA's office and the Fulton County Sheriff. Now in that short clip right there, you have the chief of police basically giving them everybody in attendance an understanding of why they showed up that day and what the conference was about. He, he mentioned Jeffrey Williams, obviously that's Young Thug's real name, and just basically talked about the fact that, you know, it was a joint effort in order to bring this indictment down and in order to arrest everybody who was involved, right? Now, they went on to talk about some of the same things. You know, it got a little bit repetitive and they were just explaining, you know, how this was a joint mission, right? Now, the district attorney then got on the mic and said some things that echoed some statements she made in the past. So let's check out some of that. We're here today about a grand jury indictment that was returned um, that included not just Jeffrey Williams, which is of some notoriety and media attention, but about 28 defendants that operated within our community between the time period of 2012 and 2022. Now, I had to stop right there. Now, the district attorney, she said that this operation spans back from 2012 to 2022. That's a long time. It's a decade. Now, let's assume you got arrested and you're involved in something that potentially took place in 2012. How do you even recall your memory back to then? You know, and we've seen this play out before on the TV shows and, you know, the different court TV interviews and stuff like that. They were like, well, during lunchtime in 2014, you had this to eat. What made you pick that? You're like, what? Like the person is like, man, I can't even, nobody can remember that far back in such detail. And that's why these Rico cases, man, it seems like there's no way to beat this, man. But we'll continue, man. Let's see what she said in this next clip. My number one focus is targeting gangs. And there's a reason for that. They are committing conservatively 75 to 80 percent of all of the violent crime that we are seeing within our community. And so they have to be rooted out of our community. Now, as you heard the district attorney say right there, she said that, you know, her number one priority is to go after gangs. And she said that they account for 75 to 85 percent of the violent crime in Atlanta conservatively. Now, Atlanta, it's no secret, man, that violent crime has been crazy in Atlanta, man. Especially last year. Last year was wild, man. Like, it was ridiculous to, to levels that most people had never seen in Atlanta. You know what I mean? I, maybe they could do some crime statistics and compare it to the 80s, but a lot of cities, there was a report that came out and said that they were having worse shootings and more violent, uh, violent crime than even the 80s and the 90s, which is almost hard to believe. You know what I mean? But it seems like this district attorney is using the RICO statute in order to go out there and take down these crews. And she doesn't care if there's rappers involved. And it probably even better because it brings more publicity to the case and makes people wary of who they're associating with, man. Now, don't forget, this is the same group of people who went after YFN, which is allegedly YFN Lucci's crew or whatnot. You know, that's up for debate. But they brought an indictment. I think it was 100 count indictment or 108 count indictment against them just a few months back so we're going to be seeing some more of this also according to what she's been saying in news conferences leading up to this so let's look at a flashback of a news interview that she did where she echoed those statements. The A. Fonnie Willis told us. We expect that in coming days 